Hi, I'm Jeff from Cleanies, and we're going to shoot a video uh, of us cleaning this tile and ground floor with Crumbies. But before we start doing that, we're going to tape off these stainless steel appliances with painter's tape. This has tape on one side and plastic. I think this one will probably go up 18 inches. I'm not real sure. Some go 18 inches, some go 3 feet. All depends on how messy you are or which one you can find that you should get to tape off your appliances, uh, your wood floors, your stone, anything you don't want to get grouties on. It's a good idea to have painters, tape, uh, and plastic. Ryan's going to start with the... We used it in our service business. Every job we went into. For, for years we've used this stuff. Um, it's really the easiest way to take every, anything off that you have. That roll is probably, I think it's 60 or 80 yards. I should look that up. Uh, it'll do the whole house for you without a problem, and it's, they're about $6. So we're going to quickly tape this off. I'm going to go over here and do the dishwasher. Tape it, from, tape it from the bottom and pull the plastic up. It'll just cling to pretty much any surface you stick it to. But this way, nothing will get splashed on your stainless steel. Grouties is an acid-based formula. It's not good to have it on stainless steel. It's not good to have it on natural stone, wood, anything like that. It's meant for ceramic and porcelain tile and grout. That's it. Be careful when you're spraying it out. Go about six inches from the surface you want it to get to, and then I always move it in with a brush and then let it sit for its five to ten minutes and let it do its job. All good? All good. We've already shaken our grouties up. I think we're going to start in this corner, huh? All right. We're going to start in the corner. I usually end about six to eight inches away, move it in with the brush, and have at it. Let it sit. Normally let it sit about five to ten minutes. We'll see if we... How it comes up. <laughs> we always test. We always tell people do six to ten square feet at a time. That way it doesn't dry. That's really for one person. If one person's doing it, they put it on, they let it sit, they scrub it, and then they rinse it. We have two of us here. We're in a friend's house. They're coming back in approximately an hour. So we want to get this done and get out of their way. Because um, we're also going to try and put a fan on this so that we can seal it and show you how to seal it as well. So Show you the easy way to seal this. But this is probably going to come up pretty easy. This isn't a very dirty tile and grout. But our friends are selling this house and we're just going to tr we're trying to touch it up for them, make it look real nice for them. Easy as that. Let me start scrubbing. Have at it. I'm going to just go, since there's two of us, I'm going to put it a little bit more down. I'm going to go a little farther than the six to ten square feet. And to be honest with you, I've been doing this for 20 years. We know how to move fast. And we know how to get it done the right way. Is it coming up? Oh, yeah. You really don't have to scrub that hard. Depending on the level of grease, really. Grease is the biggest culprit when it comes to tile and grout. These people take care of their house very well. Um, and they do it often. Because they know what they get. <laughs> Grouties all the time and they clean this a lot. It's been probably two years now yeah. and since they cleaned it. So. Any type of mop to rinse is good. We found this crazy O-Cedar one and spins all the water out and so far we really like it. It doesn't suds up bad at all. Pretty simple stuff for about 40 bucks I think we paid for that crazy thing. Yeah. You done over here, Ryan? Yeah. Can you see the floor? Yep. Yeah. Now please keep in mind, Ryan and I have probably cleaned a thousand, I know I've cleaned over a thousand floors, Ryan probably cleaned 
a thousand floors, so we've been at this a long time. When we had the service business, we did this every day of the week. So we go faster than most people, but you can tell it's not very difficult. Two people make your job that much easier. One can but apply. Still, even if you only had one person to do this, it would still only take about a half hour to do. Oh yeah, just four. Max. That's with wiping it down twice if you needed to. What do you think this room is? 10 by 10? I didn't measure it to tell you the truth. Right, pretty close to that. 100 square feet, half hour tops. But it takes a little while, you gotta get the hang of it. And we will rinse this down a couple times. The Grabby's is a restorative cleaner, so once we show you how to seal it and maintain it properly, then the sealer should, well, how long do you think the sealer will last? Three to four years. Three to four years. So you won't have to use Grabby's every year, every six months, as long as you maintain it with the correct cleaner and sealer. Good over here, right? Uh, no, I didn't get to it. And some grout is missing over here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. They didn't tell us about that before we got here, so we don't have the proper grout to fix that with us. We thought we were just coming in and cleaning and sealing. Um, so if they don't sell the house right away, we're going to come back and we're going to hopefully shoot another video on how to repair missing grout because a lot of people have missing grout. Happens all the time. Yep, we just shot a video yesterday at another friend's house that also had missing grout. I don't know who doesn't have missing grout, to tell you the truth. This mop is unreal. We usually show people how to do this with a sponge mop. And sponge mop works well, it just gets a little foamy, the grouties, because it's mixing with the grease and everything else that's on your floor. So every time we were pushing the mop down, which we've done for years with a sponge mop, it would foam up on us. We decided to go with one of these mops and see how it works. So far, so you sure I'm loving it. It's microfiber, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was just a cotton string mop when I went to go buy it, but it is microfiber. Oops, sorry. Uh, I think Getting it's carried away. I think I did get that. How long have we been at this? About five minutes, here. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Oh, yeah. What they tell me. Yeah, we if it gets sticky, which we hear from time to time, it's not the grouties. It's, well, I can't say that. Let me, let me rephrase that. It's the grouties mixing with all the stuff that's coming up from your tile and grout. It, you have grease on there, you have dirt, you've cleaned it with all sorts of crazy cleaners, and now we're bringing it up from the grout because your stories, or our grouties will get right into the grout and, and pick everything up from it. I mean, it really penetrates into the grout and gets rid of stains and everything else. And that's really what's becoming sticky. So if it does do that, we suggest mopping it, then switching out the mop head, or washing it out real well if you don't have another one, and then putting a little, get hot water and then get a little Dawn dish soap. And that will break that bond and get, sorry, get it so it's not so sticky, okay? Um, we, people call to say the floor is sticky. I rinsed it two, three times. We tell them, give them that little trick, and it makes things much easier for them. And it goes right away, one cleaning and you're good to go. What do you think? Yep, good. Okay, I'm gonna dump this water. Normally what I would do is I would dump this down the toilet. We can't get at it right now because that's behind the camera. So I'm gonna dump it down the sink and run some water behind it. I don't know if you can see how filthy it was. But it was nasty. Way nastier than it looked when we first got here. We didn't think it even needed to be done. Yeah, when he called, we were like, yeah, we'll do it, but so be it. And now, 
He'll be thrilled. <laughs> We're going to put one more clean mop on it, let it dry, put a fan on it for about an hour. We said we wanted to be out of here in about an hour, but it might take two. Right. Put a fan on for about an hour, get it to dry. If you don't have fans, all depends on how wet you get it. You can see now this grout's a little dark right now. When this dries up, it'll be nice and light, just like it was in the closet. Uh, this, I believe, is a platinum. I think that's what they call this. Um, it I takes time. If it stayed like this, then. <laughs> yeah, I like it like this. <laughs> but it takes time to dry. People say, oh, it's still dark. Could take up to 24 hours, depending on how filthy it was. And we didn't have to on this floor because the tiles aren't very dirty. But you could take that grout brush and turn it sideways and kind of scrub the tiles if you have to. If there's some grease spill up on there or if it's, you know, if you drop some, something sticky earlier in the week that you just want to get off of there, just scrub it with the grout brush and it'll come right up. Yeah, it'll knock it right off of there. And if you have textured tile, if you have textured tile, you definitely want to go over it with the grout brush, turn it sideways to get that dirt out of there. Your floor will look completely different if you have textured tile. Some of them have those little holes in them, which I still don't understand why they have little holes in them, uh, why the manufacturer would make them like that. But it pulls it right out. And if they're really deep, the brush will get in there and loosen it, but you might have to take a wet dry back. Sometimes you have to do that and suck that dirt out of there and then mop it. It's a... Uh, it, you know, a little common sense goes a long way when you're when you're doing tile and grout. We're just trying to show you the basics. And if you have any natural stone, do not use grouties. We have another product called Stonies that's specifically designed for natural stone. Grouties will etch it if it's natural stone right away. So make sure you use Stonies. You want to take? Just another quick once over. And then what we normally do is we take an old top. When you're mopping your floor on your weekly cleanings, monthly cleanings, however you do it, I always recommend an old towel to mop up the standing water. Okay? Grouch lower than the tile. So every time you go over with the mop, you're going to leave some water behind. Water goes to the lowest point, which is the grout. So that dirty water, today it's not because we've rinsed it out and we're doing restorative cleaning, it shouldn't be too dirty, but that dirty water when you're doing your weekly moppings will be sitting on that grout and it will stain it. Even if it's sealed, it'll sit on top and then you have to kind of do a, a restorative cleaning to get it off of there. Take a towel, put it on the floor, and just dry it up. Makes your job that much easier, makes it faster, no standing water to dry up. A floor this size, one towel, and you'd be good to go. Now, if you have a bigger floor, naturally, more towels. But it's all about making it easy for yourself and quick. Even though you're doing it the proper way, who wants to, who wants to be doing it anyway? We're all about ease of use here. This, mop's pretty, this mop is pretty nice. I know. <laughs> Looks like this one's not mine. All right, well, you know how that one goes. <laughs> we got to arm wrestle again. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that. Oh, sorry. Can you see that chair? Is it coming out? Yeah. Good. Looks really good. Drying up pretty good. Looks like it. All right. Okay, we got it pretty much the top stuff dried. That took how long did it say? Uh, we're at 14. All right, under 15 minutes. Do this all four or two of us. Now we know what we're doing. We get it. But if this was one person, half hour, hour, something like that. And when we come back, this is going to be pretty dry because we're going to put a fan on it. It's going to be a lot lighter. Uh, and then we're going to show you how to seal it. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Ryan. Oh, goodbye.